Hello, welcome to the latest tutorial stroke video. Reactors. If you've got uranium available to you and you can make reactors, what size of reactor are you going to put onto your creation? Behind me you will see a number of reactors because they come in four different sizes. Going from left to right, you have large grid, large reactor, large grid, small reactor, and on top of the rotor behind me, you will see on the bottom is a large reactor, and on top of that, a small reactor. So, what's the power output difference of each one? And a little bit later on, we will see how much you get for a set quantity of uranium. So let's jump into a seat and have a look at each individual reactor. I'm now in a seat so we can have a look at the various reactors. Here we have the reactors. Let's have a look at the small grid which are in orange stroke brown large grid because they're on the same grid as what I'm on is in white so small reactor gives an output of 500 kilowatts what will the large reactor give out large reactor will give just under 15 megawatts, 14.75. Let's look at the small reactor on large grid. Oh, that's not much different, 15 kilowatts. So the difference is, oh, megawatts, sorry. The difference is only a quarter of a megawatt between them two. Hmm. What will the large reactor give us out? Ooh, 300 megawatts. That's a big difference. So let's have a look at what components you're going to need for each one. Small grid, small reactor, that's a list of the components you're going to need on the bottom right of your screen. Large grid, so there is a quite a difference between the two depending on your resources. Let's have a look at the small grid, sorry, large grid, small reactor. different again a lot more components needed for that and a large one 2000 reactor components superconductors don't need superconductors for that one so there's a difference in build requirements it's not just size bigger more components let's go over to the first rig and have a look here we are at the first rig each rig is set up identical in each reactor is 100 uranium I just jumped into the seat and each rig has got a battery on because you want to be charging batteries up and I've put a couple of thrusters on thrust override just to give us a load on it just to see how much the reactors will give out for that 100 uranium plus it on maximum load hopefully let's jump into the seat 
but we have got station fuel because it's turned off so let's turn the reactor on having looked at the small reactor 500 kilowatts we have no seconds left because it's turned off let's turn the reactor on 8 days so that 100 uranium will last for 8 days turn that, station fuel. turn that off go to the next rig as you can see it's exactly the same no station fuel turn that one on which would give us 14.75 megawatts how long will this last? 7 hours so it's less time for the same amount of fuel obviously because it's a lot bigger no station fuel. thank you Let's go over to the small reactor on large grid, which if you remember was just a little bit bigger in output than that one. Just to verify, we've got 100 uranium in. No station fuel. I know. reactor 15 so the other one was 7 hours about the same probably minutes difference as with 100 no station fuel no station fuel she can get an eye in This one now it's got 300 megawatts capable output. So let's turn that on and see how long the 100 kilograms of uranium will last. That's three hours, but we're only at seven percent output let me stick a bunch of thrusters on let's get it up to maximum power output and I will be back very shortly station fuel critical Welcome back, I've just put some more thrusters on and put them all on thrust override just to give us maximum load on that reactor. So now let's turn on the reactor and see how much time we've got on 100 kilograms of uranium in a large reactor on a large grid 20 minutes so I hope that's given you an insight into the reactors small grid and large grid the power output of each one and how long each one is going to last on 100 kilograms of fuel at full load hope you build some nice creations with those you may need to adjust your build creation knowing now what you know about the reactors until the next video stay safe look after each other 
and see you later.